With Alphax 3000 being announced, it's probably the best time ever to buy GPUs. That's because the price is completely changed. Now, on the used market, there are really some great deals to be had. So let's get straight into how much you should be paying for each graphics card. <laughs> Now, the first card that will be released is the RTX 3080. Now, one may think that since it's not a 3070, it will not affect the market that much. But the truth is, especially for me, since I'm looking around for used GPUs all the time, that the market has already changed. Now, there are some great deals already popping up. Since the 3070 is expected to be better than 2080 Ti for just 500 bucks, um, I pretty much had to redo my whole like pricing of GPUs. So I figured I'd tell you how much I would personally pay for each GPU going from the upper tier all the way down to pretty much 1080p high setting gaming. Because with the newer GPUs, that's gonna be the entry level. All right, starting from the upper hand, we have the RTX 2080 Ti. Those are the most popular cards on like being sold right now. Here in Italy, they are literally popping out. They are like, if you go on whatever online website, it's full of them. And that's because most enthusiasts that have such a high-end graphics card really want to get either the 3080 or the 3090. Now, how much would they pay for one of those used? Well, to be honest, for a lower-end model, I'd pay max 420. But, you know, if you get like a very high-end model, maybe a liquid-cooled one, you can go up to around 450, 480. Right after that comes the 2080 Super. There are quite a bit of those being sold as well. Now, those cards, I personally pay around 350 for one of them. It doesn't really matter, like, the custom, I mean, of course, there is the plus 20 premium for a really good custom, maybe minus 20 for a really bad custom but that's pretty much it. Then if you get the non-super variant, around 10% less, so again, I'd pay around 320. Three, personally, I'd pay like 300. Um, also, if you're going to resell the cards, remember that like the super variants, um, even though it's quite a bit better on uh, paper, um, like for a guy that wants to buy your computer, it's not really gonna make that much difference. So again, there's that. Now, RTX 2070 Super, again, there's quite a bit of those going around. I'd personally pay around 280 for one of those, and around 250 for a 2070 standard one. That, that's because of what we said previously, um, and I mean, going to the 2070, the custom model starts to matter less. So personally, if it's not a really high-end card, I don't really care if it's a Strix or if it's a blower style. So to be honest, that's my price, even if it's, even if it's a Strix. Now, maybe a less common card is a GTX 1080 Ti. Now, I personally prefer this card over, you know, 2070 just because of the overclocking margin and because it's straight up better. So, to be honest, um, the, that's the card I will be looking for, but then again, if you are selling PCs, you might want to get the 2070 because it's newer, but again, it has less VRAM. So, you gotta think about that. But to be honest, for a 1080 Ti, I'd pay around 280. Now then again, um, maybe on a 1080 Ti you want to look at the custom, especially if you're into overclocking. But to be honest, I'd pay max 280 for a really good card. So if, if you do not feel comfortable with a blower style card, maybe just lower it by 20 bucks and get an accelerator. Now going towards the lower end, um, we, the new lower end, you know, because the GTX 1080 isn't really lower end in my opinion, but is becoming. Um, I personally pay 180 bucks for a GTX 1080. Now there are surprisingly quite a bit of those going around right now. Uh, mostly because you know of the sliders that show like a 3080 is going to be double a 2080, and so GTX 1080 owners feel like it's finally time to upgrade. So again, around 180 for those, and then going a little bit down with the 1070 Ti and 1070. Now we still don't have um, the 3060 results, but to be honest, I believe that those cards start to matter less, since you know, 
there is such a small gap between the a little bit upper side. So personally, I pay around 180 for a 2060 because it performs pretty much like a 1080. Then 130 for a 1070 Ti again because the Ti on a 1070 does not add as much uh, resale value. And to be honest, it's just a 1080. So again, you can make the argument that yeah, maybe a 1070 Ti 150, and I'd say yes if you're gonna keep it. If you're gonna flip it, nope. Then again, the 1070 right now, uh, again, maybe my, my price is a little bit low, but since we don't know what will uh, be of the 3060, I personally pay max 120 right now, because again, most people would say do not buy a GPU now. I'm just saying do it, you know, because people will want to offload them, and there are a lot of people selling them, and a lot of people are recommending that you do not buy them. So my point is, buy them, but for a very low price, because right now, you can get them for a very low price. Now the lower end, I will just uh, breathe through it, because to be honest, uh, it's just speculation at this point, and maybe on the lower end you shouldn't buy right now, but then again, if you want to buy something, here are the prices which I recommend. Now I pay 120 for a 1660 Super, 100 max for a 980 Ti, around 100 for a 1660, then around 80 bucks for a 1650 Super, and to be honest, I would not pay more than 60 bucks for a 1066 6 gigabyte at this point. Now, wrapping it up, most of you have probably seen the whole RTX 2000 announcements, and you've probably already seen all the videos from the bigger channels um, telling you, you know, what's up, how the performance is expected to be, if you should upgrade, if you should not upgrade, but in my opinion, what's there to get from it is that it's a pretty good announcement. You know, but it's good because it's going to change the use market by quite a bit. If you are somebody who wants to buy a 2080 Ti and you see it going for 450, I mean, just get it because it's a good deal. I mean, the 3070 is expected to be slightly faster than a 2080 Ti. What's going to happen is that, especially in the first period, the 2080 Ti will probably be faster because of better driver optimization. Now. As time goes on, the 3070 will probably catch up, but they will still be pretty close. But to be honest, if you're going to the uh, and you do not want a 3080, you should keep it. Now, for example, I have here a 2080 Ti, EVGA, you know, a very nice custom. Now, I am personally going to upgrade, but simply because, as you can see, I have two ultra wide monitors, so I need the extra performance. So I'm not selling it to get a 3070, I am selling it to get a 3080. Something else to be considered here, since we are talking about the used market, is that, well, maybe, you know, you have to get really good deals on GPUs if you want to buy them, and so I gave you the prices, but something that people are not considering is that if you're building a gaming PC, there is also all the rest of the PC that goes in there, aside from the graphics card. So what you really should be doing right now is buy the rest of the computer. Like, if you, if you can get a really nice deal on a used computer, all right, get it because the graphics card, like now they are, they, they came down in prices. But as long, like as time goes on, they're gonna come down even more. So if you get the whole PC right now, and then you just slap in a cheap graphics card, maybe for those prices, because right now it's kind of hard to get a GPU for the prices which I listed. But as time goes on, it will be easier and easier. So let's say you buy like an used i5, maybe overclockable, like a 9th gen i5, 6 core overclockable, and then you just slap in there a 3070, you know, you overclock the i5, it's gonna be a great gaming PC. Or let's say you buy a 10, a 10 Ti for 280 bucks and you get an i5, you know, uh, or a Ryzen 5 for that matter, and you just overclock it, get it for a nice price. You're gonna have a great PC, and that's all thanks to RTX 3000. And that's why you should start to get, yes, nice deal on graphics card, but, but also nice deals on the rest of the computer, because right now, in my opinion, it's the best time to upgrade. So yeah, let me know in the comments um, if you're buying computer parts, if you're selling it, what you're doing right now, what do you think about this launch, and see you in the next video, guys. Bye. With RTX 3000 being announced, <laughs> 